Hello all welcome to Vinod Kumar YouTube channel. In this video I am going to make the chapter number 5 of class 9th. The name of the chapter is Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Age of A. You observe the type of trees, bushes, grasses and birds in the fields and parks in and around your school? Are they similar or there are variations? India being a vast country you can imagine the types of bioforms available throughout the country. Our country India is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world. With about 47,000 plant species India occupies 10th place in the world and 4th in Asia in plant diversity. There are about 15,000 flowering plants in India, which account for 6% in the world's total number of flowering plants. The country has many non-flowering plants, such as ferns, algae and fungi. India also has approximately 90,000 species of animals, as well as, a rich variety of fish in its fresh and marine waters. Natural vegetation refers to a plant community, which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. This is termed as a virgin vegetation. Thus, cultivated crops and fruits. Orchards form part of vegetation but not natural vegetation the term flora is used to denote plants of a particular region or period. Similarly, the species of animals are referred to as fauna. This huge diversity in flora and fauna kingdom is due to the following factors. Relief land land affects the natural vegetation directly and indirectly. Do you expect the same type of vegetation in mountainous, plateau and plain? areas or in dry and wet regions? The nature of land influences the type of vegetation. The fertile level is generally devoted to agriculture. The undulating and rough terrains are areas where grassland and woodlands develop and give shelter to a variety of wildlife. Soil The soils also vary over space. Different types of soils provide basis for different types of vegetation. The sandy soils of the desert support cactus and thorny bushes. While wet, marshy, deltaic soils support mangroves and deltaic vegetation. The hill slopes with some depth of soil have conical trees climate temperature the character and extent of vegetation are mainly determined by temperature along with humidity in the air, precipitation and soil. On the slopes of the Himalayas and the hills of the peninsula above the height of 915 meters, the fall in the temperature affects the types of vegetation and its growth and changes it from tropical to subtropical temperate and alpine vegetation photo period. Sunlight, the variation in duration of sunlight at different places is due to differences in latitude, altitude, season and duration of the day. Due to longer duration of sunlight, trees grow faster in summer precipitation in India. Almost the entire rainfall is brought in by the advancing southwest monsoon, June to September and retreating northeast monsoons. Areas of heavy rainfall have more dense vegetation as compared to areas of less rainfall. Have you ever thought as to why forests are important for human beings? Forests are renewable resources and play a major role in enhancing the quality of environment. They modify local climate, control soil erosion, regulate stream flow, support a variety of industries provide livelihood for many communities and offer panoramic or scenic view for recreation. They control wind force and temperature and cause rains. They provide humus to the soil and shelter to the wildlife. India's natural vegetation has undergone many changes due to several factors, such as the growing demand for cultivated land, development of industries and mining, urbanization and overgrazing of pastures. The vegetation cover of India in large parts is no more natural in the real sense. Except in some inaccessible regions, like the Himalayas, the hilly region of central India and the Marastali, the vegetation in most of the areas has been modified at some places, or replaced or degraded by human occupancy. Types of vegetation The following major types of vegetation may be identified in our country. Figure 5.3 I Tropical evergreen forests, 2. Tropical deciduous forests, 3. Tropical thorn forests and scrubs, 4. Montane forests, v. Mangrove forests Tropical evergreen forests These forests are restricted to heavy rainfall areas of the 
Western Ghats and the island groups of Lakshadweep, Andaman and Nikilbar, upper parts of Assam and Tamil Nadu coast. They are at their best in areas having more than 200 cm of rainfall with a short dry season. The trees reach great heights up to 60 meters or even above. Since the region is warm and wet throughout the year, it has a luxuriant vegetation of all kinds, trees, shrubs and creepers, giving it a multi-layered structure. There is no definite time for trees to shed their leaves. As such, these forests appear green all the year round. Some of the commercially important trees of this forest are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber and cinchona. The common animals found in these forests are elephant, monkey, lemur and deer. Onehorn rhinoceroses are found in the jungles of Assam and West Bengal. Besides these animals, plenty of birds, bats, sloth, scorpions and snails are also found in these jungles. Tropical deciduous forests These are the most widespread forests of India. They are also called the monsoon forests and spread over the region receiving rainfall between 200 cm and 70 cm. Trees of this forest type shed their leaves for about 6 to 8 weeks in dry summer. On the basis of the availability of water, these forests are further divided into moist and dry deciduous. The former is found in areas receiving rainfall between 200 and 100 cm. These forests exist therefore, mostly in the eastern part of the country, northeastern states, along the foothills of the Himalayas, Jharkhand, West Odisha and Katsgarh, and on the eastern slopes of the western Ghats, teak is the most dominant species of this forest. Bamboos, sal, shisham, sandalwood, care, kuzan, arjun and mulberry are other commercially important species. The dry deciduous forests are found in areas having rainfall between 100 cm and 70 cm. These forests are found in the rainier parts of the peninsular plateau in the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. There are open stretches, in which, teak, sal, people and neem grow. A large part of this region has been cleared for cultivation and some parts are used for grazing. In these forests, the common animals found are lion, tiger pig, deer and elephant. A huge variety of birds, lizards, snakes and tortoises are also found here. The thorn forests and scrubs in regions with less than 70 cm of rainfall, the natural vegetation consists of thorny trees and bushes. This type of vegetation is found in the northwestern part of the country, including semi-arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Katsgarh, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Acacias, palms, euphorbias and cacti are the main plant species. Trees are scattered and have long roots penetrating deep into the soil in order to get moisture. The stems are succulent too, conserve water. Leaves are mostly thick and small to minimize evaporation. These forests give way to thorn forests and scrubs in arid areas. In these forests, the common animals are rats, mice rabbits, fox, wolf, tiger, lion, wild ass, horses and camels. Montane forests in mountainous areas, the decrease in temperature with increasing altitude leads to the corresponding change in natural vegetation. As such, there is a succession of natural vegetation belts in the same order as we see from the tropical to the tundra region. The wet temperate type of forests are found between a height of 1000 and 2000 meters. Evergreen broadleaf trees, such as oaks and chestnuts predominate. Between 1500 and 3000 meters, temperate forests containing coniferous trees, like pine, deoda, silver fir, spruce and cedar, are found. These forests cover mostly the southern slopes of the Himalayas, places having high altitude in southern and northeast India. At higher elevations, temperate grasslands are common. At high altitudes, generally, more than 3,600 meters above the sea level, temperate forests and grasslands give way to the alpine vegetation. Silver fir, junipers, pines and birches are the common trees of those forests. However, they get progressively stunted as they approach the snow line. Ultimately, through shrubs and scrubs, they merge into the alpine grasslands. These are used extensively for grazing by nomadic tribes, 
like the Gajs, Ars and the Bikrawals. At higher altitudes, mosses and lichens form part of tundra vegetation. The common animals found in these forests are Kashmir, stag, spotted deer, wild sheep, jackrabbit, Tibetan antelope, yak, snow leopard, squirrels, shaggy horn wild ibex, bear and rare red panda, sheep and goats with thick hair. Mangrove forests The mangrove tidal forests are found in the areas of coasts influenced by tides. Mud and silt get accumulated on such coasts. Dense mangroves are the common varieties with roots of the plants submerged under water. The deltas of the Ganga, the Mohanadi, the Krishna, the Godavari and the Kaveri are covered by such vegetation. In the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta, sundari trees are found, which provide durable hard timber. Palm, coconut, kaura, agar, etc., also grow in some parts of the delta. Royal Bengal tiger is the famous animal in these forests. Turtles, crocodiles, grills and snakes are also found in these forests wildlife like its flora. India is also rich in its fauna. It has approximately 90,000 animal species. The country has about 2,000 species of birds. They constitute 13% of the world's total. There are 2,546 species of fish which account for nearly 12% of the world's stock. It also shares between 5 and 8% of the world's amphibians, reptiles and mammals. The elephants are the most majestic animals among the mammals. They are found in the hot wet forests of Assam, Karnataka and Kerala. One horn rhinoceroses are the other animals, which live in swampy and marshy lands of Assam and West Bengal. Arid areas of the Ran of Kaksh and the Thar Desert are the habitat for wild ass and camels respectively. Indian bison, Nilgai, Blue Bull, Chowsing, a four-horned antelope, gazelle and different species of deer are some other animals found in India. It also has several species of monkeys. India is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions. The natural habitat of the Indian lion is the Gur forest in Gujarat. Tigers are found in the forests of Madhya Pradesh, the Sundarbans of West Bengal and the Himalayan region. Leopards, too, are members of the cat family. They are important among animals of prey. The Himalayas harbor a hardy range of animals, which survive in extreme cold. Lodox freezing high altitudes are a home to yak, the shaggy horn wild ox weighing around one ton, the Tibetan antelope, the barrel, blue sheep, wild sheep and the Kayang, Tibetan wild ass. For Hermar, the Ibex, Bear, Snow Leopard and Rare Red Panda are found in certain pockets. In the rivers, lakes and coastal areas, turtles, crocodiles and grills are found. The latter is the only representative of a variety of crocodile found in the world today. Bird life in India is colorful. Peacocks, pheasants, ducks, parakeets, Cranes and pigeons are some of the birds inhabiting the forests and wetlands of the country. We have selected our crops from a biodiverse environment, that is, from the reserve of edible plants. We also experimented and selected many medicinal plants. The animals were selected from large stock provided by nature as milch animal. They also provided us draft power, transportation, meat and eggs. The fish provide nutritive food. Many insects help in pollination of crops and fruit trees and exerting biological control on such insects is harmful. Every species has a role to play in the ecosystem. Hence, conservation is essential. As has been mentioned earlier due to excessive exploitation of plant and animal resources by human beings, the ecosystem has been disturbed. About 1,300 plant species are endangered and 20 species are extinct. Quite a few animal species are also endangered and some have become extinct. The main causes for this major threat to nature are hunting by greedy hunters for commercial purposes. Pollution due to chemical and industrial waste, acid deposits, introduction of alien species and reckless cutting of the forests to bring land under cultivation and habitation are also responsible for the imbalance. To protect the flora and fauna of the country, the government has taken many steps. I, 18 biosphere reserves have been set up in the 
country to protect flora and fauna. Ten out of these, the Sundarbans Nandadivi, the Gulf of Manor, the Nilgiri, Nakrak, Great Nicobar, Manas, Simlipal, Pakmurki and Akan Akmramarkantaka have been included in the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. 2. Financial and technical assistance is provided to many botanical gardens by the government since 1992. Koksh, Cold Desert, Sashachalam, Bana, 3, Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project Great Indian Bustard and many other eco-developmental projects have been introduced. 4. 103 National Parks, 535 wildlife sanctuaries and zoological gardens are set up to take care of natural heritage. All of us must realize the importance of the natural ecosystem for our own survival. It is possible if indiscriminate.